Hello, so healers and Virgos, and thank you for logging in. It is now Thursday. Well, my prediction, sunny nesting and resting today for the overthinkers of the Zodiac. The moon is in Sagittarius, shifting emotional focus to your groundedness and your self-nurturing. Now, the moon is the ruling planet, so our emotions tend to run away from us today. They have a lot more weight than usual. So this could really light cast in two directions. It could go to the dark side of the moon, where if you don't have enough nurturing or you're not grounded or there's politics at home, it could make you really mopey, really sad, really cranky, etc. Or it could go to the light side of the moon, where you invest in your nurturing, you feel super good, that bath never felt better. It's really up to you and what direction you intend to point your emotions. And remember, we do manage our emotions. It's up to us to tell our emotions where we want to go. Emotions are information and how our spirit feels about certain things. But after we get the message, from that point, it is your choice. Today, the best thing to do for you is to nurture yourself, even if it's as simple as giving yourself your favorite ice cream at the end of the day for a job well done. Now, zip into the sun. We're in chapter one of Sun and Cancer. And don't forget, there's going to be breakdown, Virgo, somewhere in your society and social life in the next six days. And today, that might be triggering you not feeling grounded or you needing to self-nurture. Maybe some friend is being a real ass. And so today's the day where you just really need to go home and give yourself that ice cream. But realize something will break down. Try to let it go and let it flow. Don't try to collapse. I mean, don't try to save it when it's collapsing. If something in the universe is taking away or breaking apart, definitely with society right now, meant to be. And Jupiter, Jupiter is putting a whole heck of a lot of pressure on Virgos when it comes to trust. Virgos are ready to trust. They want to trust themselves. They want to be able to trust somebody else. They want intimacy in a very powerful and deep, rich, earthly way. And you might be feeling really impatient about that. And you might be applying or projecting that desire for trust onto the friend. So the friend lets you down, but then you just want to tantrum because why can't you trust anybody? All I'm saying is separate the issues. There's the social life issue. There's the emotion needing to self-nurture. And there's Jupiter saying you need more trust anyway. So all three are working together. Again, it's up to you on where that grows. Then it's Thursday. We have Sadiqa Salter's Renegade Aromatherapist live today. She's doing Chapter 1 of Sun in Cancer. So her plant that she recommends today will help you get perspective on your social life, maybe make a good cologne or perfume for you. Don't miss it because she's got plant wisdom and she's live everywhere in our lush soul garden. All right, Virgo, that's all I have for Thursday. Tomorrow I'm back with your weekend forecast and details on that nasty lunar eclipse in Capricorn. So you don't want to miss it. Until tomorrow, live love be. So